Good morning, I'm Sharad Kutin. It's the 7th of August and uh, welcome to BFM's Morning Headlines. We have a look at the papers today. If you're tired of the wrangling in Slango, well, I'm sorry, no respite for you. The Sun has uh, Mantri Basak Khalid hitting back at his detractors, not across the barricade, not across the aisle at uh, Barisa National, but against his own party, which has issued him a show cause letter. He first said uh, the show cause letter was flawed, but he's answered it all the same. So he's got well within the deadline of tomorrow. But he's done an extra mile and preemptive strike using the Malaysian Anti Corruption Commission as his tool. So there it is Secretary Lodge's report with MACC. Secretary is his personal secretary. He's also replied the show cause letter. So pretty much the same. It's a day of counter punches, says NST. Those, of course, uh, in the media that aren't happy with Pakatan rule in the richest state in, Mal in the Federation are probably. Uh, very happy to see the news today. Brita Haryan has Khaled's reasoning behind his opposition to the Kajang move. Remember the Kajang move was of course that forced by election that brought uh, that uh, Sri uh, Wan Aziza into the state assembly. But if you remember, he actually was leading the charge for PKR uh, in the state over the Kajang move. So now he says the move uh, didn't receive much discussion. He was just ordered to uh, lead the charge. It also says that uh, the reasoning was shifting and confused. And finally, he says that in fact, the resignation of the then Adun of Kajang, uh, Lee Chin Che, was undemocratic. Now, all this, of course, is just post facto reasoning by the Mentribasa as he tries to justify his opposition to his own party. What a mess. The star really does phrase it very nicely. What a mess it is. I'm not quite sure these graphics help us, but anyway, that's a try by the star. Utusan, uh, obviously not happy with the Pakatan at the national level, at any level, is cheering on pass. Let's say pass tetap pertahankan Khaled, which means pass continues to support Khaled. They're cheering on pass. With the end game is, well, the breakup of Pakatan. Some sober voices in the media would not pass Understand? I, well, I like to point to perhaps constitutional lawyer and commentator Shad Salim Farooqi. Uh, there he is on page 26 of the star. Might be worth a read. The Malay Mail, obviously, and always descending into hyperbole. There, there descends into a farce, it says. Well, I'm not quite sure it's a farce. It, there's some serious issues behind this. Water chaos, dengue horror, MB crisis, filthy rich, dirty state, hot all the craters. Well, is the hysteria and hyperbole justified? That's up to you to decide. Now, moving on to other issues. Sina Haryan has the story of Gaza. Of course, there's an international call for a boycott of Israel, the Israeli economy. The question is how to do it. Well, what this page does suggest is uh, Sina Haryan is issuing a cautionary note on this question and it's enlisted all these datos and doctors and dato doctors to say why we should be cautious. So the boycott Jang Malampao, Jang Malampao is because the expression for don't be extreme and don't go overboard. Don't go overboard, says Harian. Ebola uh, continues to dominate international news and there you have it on page 6 of uh, The Sun. The health ministry initiates strict protocols at airports and ports and also does target uh, students coming from West Africa in order to just sort of watch that dynamic there. So there you have it, Ebola. Another issue that's very close to my heart is the uh, question of the death penalty and there you have it. Rambo Bentong, I mean you might think that he should be put to death just for having that silly name but no, he he killed a teenager, he's a serial killer, but is the death penalty a good way to deal with questions of this sort? I don't think so, but it's subject for, I think, a public debate. There you have that. At the end of the day, we have Harriet Metro. Not very impressive front page, nothing to laugh at, so I'm gonna not talk about it. And the word for the day is respite. These Gazans have gotten respite from the bombing uh, from Israel, but is there respite for the Selangorians? I don't think so. The word, we have to look forward to respite. So there you have it. That's all we have on uh, Morning Headlines this morning. I'm Sharad Kutin, BFM 89.9, The Business Station.